Toro LX500 with twin. I just bought this tractor next to Nasling because the guy didn't watch my previous YouTube video. Years ago, I had the same tractor and had a transmission issue one point and I do show it's a very easy uh, issue to, to fix when you're sleeping. So this guy had a big hill in the back of his backyard and he says when he's trying to go up there, transmission is sleeping and it's something internal he told. His body came and looked at it. He says, yeah, it's shot. So congratulations, you should have watched the YouTube video or did the research. Now, good for me, I'll, I bought this next to nothing. I'm gonna fix the transmission. So this is Toro LX500 uh, twin uh, Brisbane Stratton engine. Uh, very good engine actually. I like it more than the color I had on my previous Toro. This is the deck, look. Isn't it fabulous? No rust, absolutely nothing. Such a solid deck. Uh, very low hours on this tractor. Uh, battery is dead uh, but i did I jumped it so it was like 114 117 hours on this tractor 2006 lx 500 so i'm about to remove the wheel because i looked my previous video from nine years ago i'm just showing and not maybe <laughs> i don't know but anyhow this is the tractor i'm going to remove the wheel and i'm going to show you what are we looking for and I'm very confident 90% that's the problem with this transmission because it, it goes absolutely fine in reverse, but has the problem going forward. So I removed the rear wheel and this is where we're gonna be looking at. This is the linkage that goes all the way into the, the transmission, into the gearbox. And this is the ferrule that you can adjust with right here. So I'm gonna remove that clip. So what happened, we'll take a look. This is from bottom up. This is your shifter in neutral. So if I go to forward, go to forward, you see that whole linkage will push the rod into the gear. So most likely it doesn't push all the way in. So I'm gonna remove that ferrule counterclockwise so it pushes it forward and I'm gonna try to ride it and see if it fix the problem. Maybe I need to do two turns, I don't know, but I also don't wanna do too much so my transmission doesn't start slipping into the reverse. So, so I just did what I just did and I'm gonna put the wheel back on and I'm gonna try it riding it and see if it's gonna fix so, the issue. It did help tremendously but not completely fix the issue. So what I'm gonna try to do next, I'm gonna right here, all this gunk and all this grass, it looks like when I'm shifting, it lies before between the rod and uh, so it looks like the drive needs to be all the way in and looks like all this dirt is not letting the solenoid to shift all the way in so i'm gonna clean all this dirt and i'm gonna try again okay test number two i have uh, a big ditch in the back of my backyard so we'll see if it's gonna climb and if it's uh fix the issue and if it's gonna slip or not
see it worked perfectly.